Hi, my name is Ben Pick, and this is part two of my series on the OWASP Top 10 Web Application Security Risks. This is a follow-up to my previous talk on the number one vulnerability. And if you're interested in detecting and preventing SQL injection, I recommend you check out the video in the description below. Today I'm going to elaborate on one of the lesser known subcategories within injection, that being XML external entities. Most developers and all security professionals should understand SQL injection. However, not everyone has experience or knows how to test for XML external entity vulnerabilities, or XXEs. Much like with SQL injection, where an interpreter applies user input directly, XXEs occur when an XML document is parsed and executed. This is often abused to read or execute files, but can also be used to create denial of service or pivot to further exploitations. This vulnerability becomes realized when the XML data is not properly validated, specifically when the XML contains a reference to an external entity. Generally, this occurs when an XML is processed or created from a user's request, or when an XML is uploaded. According to OWASP, the following are risk factors for exposing an application to XXEs. The application parses documents. Tainted data is allowed within the document type declaration. The XML processor is configured to validate and process the document type declaration. And finally, the external processor is configured to resolve external entities within the document type declaration. Within an XML, these external entities may be defined by a system or public declaration. Interestingly, the B-Size Conference in London held a Capture the Flag event in which XXEs were required to be used. I've included the link in the description below. Also, a few years back, a bug bounty program paid out big for an XXE vulnerability identified on Google's production servers, which allowed for passwords and data to be extracted. That link is also included below. Now, here is an example to demonstrate how to test for XXEs and their exploitation. This is the Buggy web app another intentionally vulnerable application for teaching purposes. On this web page, there is a single line of text and a button. Pushing the button does not have an effect on the display. However, by viewing the requests and responses within a proxy, the details under the hood may be observed. The burp proxy has intercepted the initial request, which is what was sent when I pushed the AnyBugs button. For the purposes of this exercise, I am sending this intercepted request to the repeater. This will allow me to send numerous requests and analyze their responses. The altered login value was returned in the response and I can safely assume that the XML data is being reflected directly in that response. I've now added my own XML data to the original request. This set an external entity variable for a specific file, in this case the password file, on the host machine. By replacing the XML value of the login name with the external entity variable, I'm attempting to get this application to process the custom XML and return sensitive information. The content of the password file is in fact returned in the response as external entities are allowed and poor access controls are in place. By changing the value of the external entity to a web page, the contents of that page may also be returned. In this example, I use the local robots.txt file. However, a malicious site or CNN.com could be substituted instead if the application can resolve such a URL. In addition to file exposures or external redirections, XXEs may be used to create an XML bomb to exhaust resources for a denial of service. The best method of prevention is to disable document type declarations, or DTDs, when configuring an XML. If DTDs must be allowed, then the external entities and external doc types must be disabled according to the specific XML parser in use. For the latter prevention mechanism, such a custom solution is prone towards misconfigurations. Therefore, the best approach towards preventing XXEs is to disable DTDs to begin with. That concludes my discussion on injection. Please join me next time as I go through the number two security risk of broken authentication and session management.